Oh no. Oh. <laughs> no. Light yellow, yellow lights. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know what we're gonna do? Just throw it now. Let's just do it. Yes, my people, it's Chunks, and I'm joined by my brother Philly. Philly, show some love, man. Yeah, man, it's your boy, I'm Philly. Thank you for joining us on another ep of the Chunks and Philly show. Yes, yes, yes. Now, guys, we have a very special, very special guest. Now, I can't even speak. Yeah, that was that was that's 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 good. Good. You had a little is, lisp. Yeah, is yeah. there a problem with a lisp? No, no, not at all. That's oh, fantastic. Okay. Even better. Just speech and impediment. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, on my left, guys, I have a special guest. It is my brother. Oh. Um, very talented. Oh, wow. The beautiful. <laughs> Philly! Hey! I've always had Harry Panera, man. Make sure yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah, Harry. 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 You, you stay right there, though. That's yeah. good. That um, good you, you could also address us as um, Lamb Free. Um, Lamb Free. Yeah, now, yeah, where did Lamb Free come from, uh, Harry? Um, so when we first met each other, mm. um, I was doing Link Up TV. Yes. Naturally, by the way, you lot um, was walking behind me. Obviously, Philly interrupted, shouting and all of that. Your mouth was very white in that yeah, video, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah, what, was it white? Yeah, psh. You look, go look at I won't suck in can face. We, can we, can we uh, put the clip right there? Oh my God. Yeah. I, was, I, I won't suck in face. No, like no, it was just dry lips. But anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me. All right, cool. Um, what's this called? This trio? And I was like, lamb free. Yeah. Yeah. I just fought three goats. So guys, yeah. this yeah. is um, a quick little insight on how I met Harry. Uh, I think my friend Liban, you know Liban, obviously mm. that's one of my boys. He's on SDS podcast. He sent me over your videos on Instagram. And um, this is when I, around the time where I was kind of like, I don't feel like there's anyone on me and Philly's or that darkest or our level in terms of like humor, you know mm. what I mean? Not size necessarily. And then I remember seeing um, Harry's videos on the Instagram, like it was the stairs videos. I straight away said, this guy's absolutely hilarious. And I did something I never do usually was just reach out to him, no matter how much followers he had. I think he had like 50K wow. maybe. Yeah, I was small time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah obviously. 50K little, is not small time, but we'll no, get but no, in comparison, comparison to like now, like, to, yeah, you know I'm what I mean? And it was kind of like, reached out and I said, yo bro, like you're actually hilarious, man. I think I, I find I can find the, the DM somewhere, but it was just literally just randomly reached out and I said, yo, you're incredible. Do you know what I mean? And he was kind of like, yeah, we'll, I'll see you at the top type of vibe. But it was more, I think you expected more of a, I'll be at my, doing my own journey and you doing your own journey, but yeah, we yeah, come yeah. there. Cause I knew he was always going to be successful, bro. But then I thought, you know, you know what? Let's just kind of fasten this process. And then we ended up meeting up. The next time I saw you was at the, the talent show, the first time I met you. That was my talent first. Show. No, talent talent show. Oh, talent show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Link was Link Strawberries and Creams Festival. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. was the first time I met yeah, Harry. Yeah. What was your first um, meeting and how did you end up meeting him? Um, that was the first time okay. I also met Harry as well. But, but Harry before was... Yeah, tells... I've got a real story about yeah. when I first met Philly. So I had... We've got a friend called... Um, no, but it's, I understand it now in rude. hindsight, yeah. Not rude. It was just love and guidance for the riders. Yeah. But what happened was... Um, I've got a friend called Ike, yeah, who used to do like little parties and whatnot. I think Philly was hosting one of the nights, yeah. And then he was like to me, you know what, come down, come meet Philly or like host it together. So I was doing my own little something or whatever, yeah. And then I've seen Philly, I've watched these videos, innit? Because I used to watch the Sunday stories. And I think out of us three, I think I, I'm i more linked with Philly with the, the content. Because yeah, yeah, we yeah. kind of like- How raw we are. How raw we was. And I was like, this is basically me, innit? Yeah. So I bigged him up on some, yo, my brother, man, I see you doing your thing. You know what he said to me? Yeah, love. He tapped my hand and said, yeah, love. And obviously I'm with the man them, yeah. And I've come out of my, my comfort yeah, zone. I, was so high. I wanted to snuff him. No, do you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, like, ever since I caught fit, you've seen it. Like, mm. man's, I wouldn't say paranoid, but the social anxiety I get since I've become Philly, it's just, it's just, and you've mm. you've all experienced it as well mm. now. You get mm. me? Like, you just sometimes get so many people approaching you, and all I want to do, well, at that time, if I'm in a party, is chat to gal, have a drink, and do the job, which was hundred, host, you get what I'm saying? Hundred. Don't want to have no deep chat about my job. Like, mm. you get what I'm saying? Mm. But you know what? I never looked at it like it was a mad thing. And in hindsight, yeah, I get it. Like I you feel like said, you bro. did at the time, but you understood, understood when you got away. in my position. No, no, I understood straight away. Because if it was something, it was an issue, I would have said, blood, come on, can't you see I'm... Like, it wasn't anything. It wasn't Fair even... Enough. It was more a thing of... <laughs> uh, <laughs> Say no more. One nil, one yeah, nil, one yeah, nil. You got yeah, me, yeah, in it. Yeah, but yeah. how things have played out, Bro, I don't think I've ever had such an organic, like, link up. Bro. And it off it's from, the, from the front. You know, like... Man will come up to me and be like, oh, what, do you not write things together? I'm like, bro, the reason why we're friends here is because we're as tapped as each other, but in mm. different ways. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like I, I can connect with you wholly and I can connect with you differently as well. And it's just, Facts. it all makes sense, isn't it? Wow. But yeah, it's, it's, you see the Link Up TV video on God, yeah? When you, you can see, them, you can see my, my face in the video, I'm like, 
oh shit. Yeah, like, yeah, we creeped up on him. He yeah, didn't know that we were coming like, towards him. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I've never taken like his yeah, reaction. Stars is in the bro. Yeah. My reaction I was what? like, stars. Stars yeah. is there. What Dula? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> stars is my cousin. He's also on SDS as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stars. But yeah, no, it's it's mad organic, man. And I, honestly, like you said, bro, in the beginning, I was like, I, I kind of knew that I was gonna be this person, yeah, and I didn't know how I was gonna do it. Didn't think I was gonna link up with anyone because, like you said, even for me, main reason why I did it was I was like. I feel like there's bare people out here that are not funny that are making mad bread. Mm. And I feel like, you see, with my confidence that I have and the person I am, I could I could do it, innit? There mm. wasn't no plan B or nothing. So you hit me as well. Like, this is when I knew you lot are actual real people, yeah? Mm. You hit me randomly one day and you was like, like I was at my bread and deals, but I'll never forget. I've, I've opened up the DM. I'm like, I feel his voice not in me. And back then, I can't lie. You see, when you see a blue tick message you, it's a thing. Yeah, it's a yeah, so yeah, I remember yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh, bro, I remember when Conan followed me. Yeah. yeah. I said, I said to the man, I'm gone. <laughs> Conan, I said, I'm gone. I said, I'm gone. I said, I'm gone. I said, I'm gone. But I know Conan's already though, before, me, you know. before all of this. But still, I was like, yeah. I know how the man from the streets it, it, are. No, do you know what like, it is? Without, without us realizing subconsciously, don't you think it's like, we're being accept- I'm being accepted now? Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. everyone's fine. And Conan's and, and rated. Conan's funny though, because I did Murky Fest, yeah. Um, in IB for this, like the first I year when I was, I knew I was flying, yeah? yeah. I was on a balcony. I've just come up from like smashing. I think I introduced Mo Stack, yeah? I've come up, Collins comes to me and goes, hey, H3, you've arrived still. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah, yeah, he goes, you've arrived still. But again, yeah, it's just like a little, oh, like, yeah, those. back then, them little things. So I remember like Philly's message me, he's gone, um, bro, start a YouTube channel. Don't make the same mistake I did, didn't it? I didn't start a YouTube channel. Like, I was working for people for like years, didn't get no money. Like, right. don't make my mistake. Can say names, man. Yeah, but that's when I knew you're a real one. You don't need to <laughs> no do point, that. No point. Yeah, brother. Nah, mental though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. crazy. We don't need to do that. Yeah, bro. mental. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trust me. He's taking it personally, though. Like, like, anyway. Yeah. I took, I remember I had my little one where I took personal. Mm. No, yeah. words like. Yeah, it gets like Cause that, you know, at, at that point, it's just like, how am I so, I, I even wrote this in a lyric. I said, how am I so big and still living like a civilian? Like bro, man's getting millions of views. Mm. And at the time getting paid 60 pounds for 4 million views. Mm. But you get me on the side, I've got a job. <laughs> you got, you got shit. <laughs> bro, I've got shit, I know, but you lot take this in, you know, it's so easy for like, you lot to well, laugh, it's funny still, but. Just take it in, like make hey, sure the business. Yeah. <laughs> Sixty pounds. That's not even Cali. That's not even Cali these days. <laughs> Cali's on <laughs> twins. <That's... laughs> that wasn't even a Cali fan. Uh, <laughs> I'm a star dog. I'm no, a star dog. Bro. Uh, star dog's kind of a little bit like it. It yeah. can run. Well, back to non. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Down the track, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Alhamdulillah, you're just so pure. pure in that way. Um, but yeah, nah, bro. I can't lie. We've all had our little moments in it, but. Alhamdulillah, bro. Yeah, I, just, I just feel like what was what was the moment you think like I oh, you know I've actually made it like I'm actually like the guy now. I'd say Murky Fest just because I think the whole scene was there in it. Okay, okay, so okay. So it's like and you were yeah, embedded in it. I was embedded like it, like Hush just came home. I, how did that happen? What St- uh, Stormzy shouted you? Do you know what? No, like, so was it like Stormzy's, management? Stormzy's manager Cub, uh Toby. He's he's the man. Them in it. He's from the ends in it. And him and my manager are mad cool. Um, so he told my manager, he goes, oh no, H is, H is gonna do Murky Fest. Yeah, 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 it's calm, H is gonna do it. But you know how the man them are, you just think, oh, it's whatever, I wasn't, I wasn't lo- losing sleep over that. And then I just get an uh, email saying, oh, can you send Harry's um, image? We're gonna do the flyer for Murky Fest. And that's when I said, yeah. And at the time, I still think to this day, that was the best festival in terms of our, you, our talent, our, our culture in one place, innit? Mm. DBE, uh, Crepto and Conan, Mo Stack, that, yeah. Jay Haas, like, Fredo's, yeah, like crazy, it, it was crazy. just top tier, innit? Mm. And I remember like everyone, every time I come off the stage and I introduce the act and it was me and V Brown as well, like everyone would be like, bro, you're, how'd you do it? Like I'm crowd controlling, like I've never done this before. It's just natural instinct. And where man actually loves the scene, man loves the culture. Yeah, so, yeah. When I'm in those, those places, it's like I'm embracing it. I'm performing man's songs like they're mine. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the energy that I was putting out. <laughs> no, so. that's really me and K-Trap warm. Bro, I swear I get it. It. you co-produced it. Yeah, no, you got shares in that. That's really me, bro. Yeah, the way you yeah. push that song, you're like, definitely I, making money. Like, all glory to God, all I ever wanted to do with music was perform. Bro, man, I'll be on stage and I'll be like, warm, 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 mm. man. Like, I've just got to put warm on and then just start vibes and on stage. Mm. Like, the, I'm so linked to that tune to the point, I need to do my own version of it and just do it for like live shows. That would be good, mm. innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be, be good still. That would be, be a good idea. All right, I'm going to kick off the first question. Go on, man. Um, Wait, are we doing that game? What game? The blind, blind ranking. Yes. Let's yeah. do that then. So we're gonna we're gonna do a blind ranking, yeah. Okay. What's so that? right now, so for example, I'll throw five different things to you. For example, let's say footballers. Yeah. If I was to say Edis Cavani, where would you put him in the top five? What in the world? No, just top five in the list in your list. 
Okay, four. And then that, next I say, Van Nistelrooy. Oh, number one. Yeah, but then, and then, and then after I say Ronaldo. Oh, nine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, 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 that's good. Now, what is the topic? So the topic today ranking? on Blind Ranking is underground lines. Ooh. Okay. So, oh, okay. I like that. All right, you recently got on the tube bro, as well. Oh, boys, boys, I've been using the tube. Oh, have on you? All, bro, on a mad thing. On a regular. Get, do you know what it is, bro? I've told myself, fuck it, they're going to clock me anyway. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then on, on a tube, hot in the with glasses on, and uh, you're going to get stopped. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. So it's long. I'm telling you now, the best um, underground line is yeah. uh, the brown wait, one. Wait, 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 wait. So I'm going to ask you first. Yeah. Where would you put Piccadilly? Oh, that's got to be fourth, if I'm honest. There's okay. there's a good amount of um, lines that are better than that one. Okay, so Piccadilly's fourth. Yeah. Central. S Central can go. Central can go three. It's okay. A, it's it's okay. the middle. It's it's a good medium to have. Bakerloo. Well, Bakerloo can go number five. I'll be honest what? with you. I don't like Bakerloo. That goes through the ends. You imagine? No, that's I don't like Bakerloo. Castle. Northwest that's, that's, London. No, I'm not. Bakerloo's not yeah. northwest. Who told you Stonebridge that? Stonebridge Park. Exactly. It goes to Wembley Central. What am I it doing? Wait. Park. All right. How about this? I bet we don't even know the colours for them. Is Bakerloo not brown? Brown. brown yeah. Yeah. That goes through Elephant Castle as well, though. Yeah. That's the end bits. We don't that's care about them. And honestly, I'm not going all the way there. Like if Come on, Bakerloo for me, number five, five. Garden, bro, you're taking the piss. Why? Because you're from there. Yes. You, do one. you own there? Okay, Victoria. Oh, that's number two. Gara. And then the last, Jubilee. Number one. Wallahi. That's, that's the, the line. Jubilee I like as well, because that also bro, goes past man. the What does that run through now? That runs through where I need to go to. Okay. Let me try to talk to you about yeah. That. Yeah. yeah. That runs through where but I need now, to go to. It runs to. through my bits as well. Killy and that. So bro, you know what am I, mean. I not done well with that? No, I wouldn't say well. Okay, well for me, would you, would you I would have said Bakerloo number one for nostalgia. Yeah. I used to catch that everywhere, bro. I remember, look, nostalgia. North Wembley. Yeah. And also the overground is absolutely incredible. North Wembley, South Kenton, Kenton. But these are I'm from yeah. South East London. Lane, I've got Hatchen, the West, then. Carpenters Park, Bushy, Watford High Street, yeah, and that's good. Watford Junction. In the overground state... And you can still use your phone. Yeah, cold. Oh, I need to go into Elizabeth line. I, I ain't been I've never yeah, yeah, been yeah. on it either. Can we, do, can we do that just for one day, literally? I had the what, AC systems really Yeah, gone. park our cars in a certain place and then we literally just go and just attack the city. Oh, I don't know about he's that. He's got anxiety. You can't do all of that. Have you? Yeah, like you, you've kind of witnessed it to certain, but I'm just mad parallel. I think if you're, if we're all together, yeah, it's different. Lit. Yeah, when we're together, yeah. that's what I'm saying, it's, bro. It's less. Or like when I'm with all the mandem, you get me. We I step out, chip cones, everyone's out. Then I'm, mm. I don't even feel it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But why? So, <laughs> <laughs> and then you have it as Harry Pinero's blind ranking. What do you guys think? Because for me, it wasn't that, that was good, man. Yeah. People, but tell me, man. It but anyway, Juby for the Lily. Let us know. Move um, on. What's the question you had? So before, um. We started the pod, well, literally just before the app, yeah. I started watching some throwback vids of ours. And in one of the questions, it was, what do we consider cheating? Mm. And it was specifically like, if your girl now starts liking an next man's post, remember, it's just a like, you know, she ain't mm. left a comment. Do you man class that as cheating? Depends on what she's liking, in my opinion. Mm. So it depends on what, what's, how the image is. Oh, yeah. uh, brother's topless now. Brother's topless? Yeah. And who is it? He's, I don't know who he is, but he's well off. He's got six packs. He can do the little pet thing where they yeah. both move. So for me, it's a thing where like, what is the reason you're liking this? Because you see, look, for example, you know how, okay, I don't know about you lots. For example, when a girl follows the man, we can't see it in it because the notifications are just mm. ramming off. Mm. But you know, sometimes you just randomly go on your notice bit and you'll see uh, the same John's look like 40 yeah, pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. She's obviously trying to get your attention. Your attention. Do you get it? Mm. Yo, so you're now, my brother. It's mad yeah, how we all just yeah, know how to Yeah, so words. obviously what she's trying to now do is, like all your pictures, now you've pre her situation, you like a couple two two things, you're gonna just slide in and say, Well, go on. Yeah, and yeah, she's yeah. be like, Oh my god, I don't gonna but she knew what she was doing, you know what I'm trying to say? So, That's the way of a girl showing yeah, their yeah, attention. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. You know, whereas we're more direct, because obviously the men's meant to be sorting after the girls together. Yeah, yeah. So when I now if if I was had a gal in that and she's there liking up a brother's pictures, what's your intentions on liking this picture? You know what I'm trying to say? Is it is but it she, is it she, inspirational? She, she follows him. What's the reason though? No, but before she got with you, I remember I'm just friends yeah, spanning yeah, yeah. the works, it? Before she got with you, she's already been following him. So then what? Do you expect her to delete it? Or no, no, no. Like, I'm following him or just what? Not even like, like the pics? I, I, What's I think, the point think, of the I've been what you're trying to say. For me personally, yeah, it's like, it's like what Chunks is saying. Obviously, if you've been following someone anyway and you like his pictures, you like, that's nothing. Liking pictures for me is, is nothing. I think, yeah, it's what Chunks is saying is like, if it's a reoccurring type of picture she's liking, yeah, then maybe it's like, 
it's showcasing that she's interested or she finds this this thing attractive in it. But I wouldn't go too mad and say that's cheating. No, 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 no I would never, never cheating consider it mad, cheating, like, but I feel like- That's it, insecurities, if anything. That's yeah. just man's insecurities. Nah, it also highlights like, 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 my insecurities because now if you're lacking yeah. up a picture with a six pack and, and, and pecs that jump, I never had that since 2004. You know what I'm trying to say? So mm. it's like, I don't know what you're- You found funny? No, it was 2012, the Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. But I'm trying to say, obviously, it's a thing where like you're liking up a. So it's like the same way if man, if the man them are going up liking up pictures with like lingerie and they just got BBLs and stuff like, mm. and then your girl is just like the normal, it's just normal girl. It's like, like you're, yeah, you're basically bro. saying you prefer that over That's her. That's what it is. And obviously, I it, that. it can damage oh, someone's. No, no, no. I'm just saying it can, it can. I'm not saying it's cheating, but obviously. I feel like it is unnecessary. Like you don't need yes, to be doing you don't need it. To you know what I'm trying that. to say? Yeah, fair enough. Whether I consider it cheating, I think that's a stretch. Yeah. But mm. is it needed? I yeah. don't think so. 100%. In the relationship it, as well. Yeah. If you know your partner and you know what, what triggers them, I think you should do the, the bare minimum and, and, and just eradicate that because it isn't cheating. But if you know your partner don't like it, if you're in love with this person, Why you want to you make your it? person what happy. What do you think about your, your partner having male friends? Normal as well. Oh, Normal as well. Okay, making up male I, friends watch, watch. after. If you lot are my friends, Oh, yeah. friends test. <laughs> if you like are my friends, why would I be against that? Do you know the man? Am I just on? No. Mm. Think logic. Think like all the deep stuff. Furthermore, how did I blow up? Why am I here today sitting on this table doing a podcast? What was the first Sunday video story. I did on the face of the internet? Sunday stories. Yeah. Mm. And what was the first ever video I did? Cheat, get cheated on. Mm. I'm not on that. Mm. Like I got cheated on with the same you that she's told me she's known since a child. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Like, I'm, walk, I'm no, walking in. Laugh, no, story. it's funny. Okay, it is cool. funny. And yeah. I, I, I mean, me and Harry won't laugh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I walked in and she's in dogs. <laughs> I walked in no. and she's on. And at the time, I cried. She's I all keep, fours. Yeah, yeah, all fours, Just bro. All fours. Same the way whole I used word. to have my girl, bro. Like, yeah. and, and what's mad and is. And is he bears in Oh, can I be real with you, though? Is he in there bears? No, because if he's bearsing for the cares in. I don't I don't want to give an answer because I don't know. Yeah, you know. Cool. Like I don't you know, I just don't want to say yes or no for the sake of camera. I actually don't remember that much. Guys, a man's not laughing at the situation. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's, it's more like an awkward nah, it is kind of funny. No, because like, it's the way he said it. Hey, she's in dogs. Me, okay, listen to this. Don't you remember the no, story? I know, but I'm saying listen to this. Did you have no inkling beforehand that your girl was cheating? Yes. My uh, instincts told me mm. that something is wrong. And what was this? What was it? Like, what was it? It would be little stuff like a, a change in pattern. So like my thing was I used to text her every morning. Yeah. And before I've even texted you, if you've woke up before me, she'd text me. Yeah. Yeah. But then now it's taken like four hours for her to reply. You've replied at mm. one, but I've texted you at 8 a.m. Just, 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 just a little exo- yeah. huh? yeah. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you can't say that, yeah, man. He, no, he can't. Dog, okay, and I'm, the day no, we no. can't say that, then yeah, the, the friendship's just not, getting yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys, that, this is why <laughs> no, we're mates. No, can I say to some people, wood, it might be too much, but this is why I love my mom. break, she was getting around. Bro. And she sent him oh pictures, my yeah. god! Do you know what makes it worse? This, this is, I'm, so, bro. I was so in love, yeah. I remember I was trying to phone her the whole day, yeah. And then I've seen her in the shopping center, in the local Bromley shopping center, with the. Oh uh, yeah, it was it was. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just it was, no, she was destined for greatness. In yeah, a, in a way, in a, yeah, she was destined. That's horrendous, man. So that's why. So back to the question. Yeah, I feel like mine's more PTSD. Even like mm. when I got in relationships after that, it was always something I felt mad uncomfortable with, especially mm. if you like close to the point where you lot hug or you've like, he stayed downstairs while you was upstairs. Like there's been different scenarios with girls I've dated, you get what I'm saying? But I'm not with it. What's mm. your opinion on it? Have you had an experience like I, mine? I, Hopefully not. No, I haven't, but I, I've just like been aware of situations that have happened to friends around me. I've had like small situations where I've witnessed someone change who I never thought would change or never thought would, would be a certain way. And it kind of just opens you up to realizing that like, why? Wow, opens, opens you up. Yeah, that's, crazy. that's, that's, that's mad. That's um, but it kind of shows you, yeah. That's mad. It kind of shows you that like it can happen to anyone, innit? So for me, I've always said to myself, if someone's gonna cheat, they're gonna cheat anyway. I think putting a restraints on someone or trying to change someone is the wrong way to have any relationship, innit? If you've met a girl and she has a lot of male friends or, or you know, she's whatever, she's been very honest with you, I don't think you can be mad at those things again because you've accepted that person. I would only have a problem if she, while I'm with her, she making has no friends, friends. And she's making new male friends because mm. I wouldn't go out of my way to go and make new female, like new friends. If I know that my woman, number one, doesn't like it. And number two, I don't need them really and truly, yeah. innit? If I've had them from before, I'm not going to drop them out, but they'll know that, okay, you okay. know, man's with my partner, innit? Okay. I'm, I can't come and chill. It, oh, you tell your, tell your friends, listen, she kind of she kind of feels a bit uncomfortable. And I think your real friends will make it known to her. Like, listen, 
I understand I'm a girl. Let me speak to your bread so you know so she knows from a woman to a woman. Like, that's not grown. That. In an like, ideal I think, world, in an ideal would world. Be grown. Ideal world. What's, what's your opinion on in that? In an ideal world though. With the male friend situation? Yeah. Um, I think for me, it's like, if you've had male friends before me, it's like, I can't now feel a type of way about it. But then I think it's also like, if there's, there's, there's limitations. For example, now, if you're just stepping out on your ones with this brother and you're going to cinemas, mm. it's a bit wild. So in other kinda... words, you're, if that is the case, you're just going to set boundaries. Yeah. Because mm. for me, it's like, look, for example. But what's I, the harm in going out to like, it's just like one, when I think about it one in hindsight, one there's up. nothing. No, no, no. Is there something yeah, wrong no, with it though? I feel like this is what it's called. On an in a, on a Islam vibe, oh, I'll call it Qira, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. protective jealousy. It's, yeah, yeah. it's a thing where- Call it, say it again? Protective Qira, jealousy. Huh? It's Qira. Love it's, that, educate yeah? me, love that. It's a protective jealousy type of vibe. So it's a thing where I'm not now saying I don't trust you. It's just, I know men's intentions. You know what I'm trying to say? Let's be honest now. Obviously it is possible for a man and a, a woman Definitely. to be friends. Of course it is. But in this day and age, written, unfortunately, I just feel like I don't trust the man. Them. I see like that video of Messi the other day. Have you seen that? He's never hugged another woman. Is it? No, take Messi in. He's never, I've never seen him hug yeah, another woman. He's not trying to be messy. Mm. He... That was a dad joke. But that, was probably dad, no. that was a proper dad joke. You don't like, but you can't, as a dad, you can't. Are you a dad? No, I'm not. Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. Anyway, I think this leads perfectly onto the next topic, which is, Prenups. Now, mm. of course, we are men very affluent. Sure. Mm. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, we thank God. Alhamdulillah. We're doing very well in life, right? Getting married now, of course, mm. now because of the man I'm doing their thing. Anyone now you get to know is getting to know Philly, Harry mm. Pinero. You get mm. it? Is a prenup going to be set in place where, for example, you're setting boundaries or you're saying you can't take X amount? And, or are you going to just have an open relationship, an open wedding? And then when, if it was, God forbid, goes to, if it was like to go sour, she takes half of your earnings or whatever it is. I would Here's a spanner in the works yeah. here. No one's perfect by God. Mm. So what makes you think that your woman can't change ways or she's not it's, gonna, it's, it's, it's like is. my mum, a positive one though. My mum does things that shocks me. Mm. Like I can't believe my mum's maybe thought of such a good idea or like got so determined to achieve something. So what that lets me know is that, my, I've known my mum all my life obviously, mm. It lets me know that I don't really know her because I am shocked by some actions. Do you get mm. what I'm saying? Mm. Like, so how do you know that that can't be? A I, thing I just think yeah. Sometimes it depends on how you view your relationships, isn't it? Because <clears> there <throat> are some people that have, and some women don't go for the option to take everything. So I think it's all circumstantial, isn't it? Perfect. For me personally, but I wouldn't want to go into a relationship with that negative mindset of, boy, this could go left. So. But it's I'm the same cool. way that it's okay, the same no. way I wake up every day and know that I can die today, bro. But it's like, do you, do you wear a bulletproof vest every day? Do you? No, put, of course not. Because you, at the end of the day, that's insurance. You, know, you, okay. you can't you can't stop me. That's my, my that's that's my point. Is combo. But that's my point. I I know that whatever's meant to happen is gonna happen. You can put things in place all you want. I even think it puts a negative mindset on a relationship if you're like, well, listen, I love you to bits, but we could fuck up and. I'm not making sure because it just makes things, it just, the element of trust is limited mm. when you put that on there. However, like I said, if you're thinking with your business mind and not your your heart, yeah, go, go for it. I, I hear where you're coming from quickly, but I'm saying it's the same way we put insurance on our cars, our houses. It's the same way. No, you get nicked if you don't. <laughs> so what's day, your opinion on it? What would you mm. do then? You're, um, boom, you've popped the question. I'm completely, I completely understand Harry's point of view, 100%, but what? I, unfortunately, I don't have that much faith in humanity, bro. Like an, mm. an aversion of like, I understand where you're coming from in terms mm. of you're going to pick out that perfect woman. But unfortunately life isn't like that. It's not a fairy tale. You know mm. what I mean? You're not going to go for no, the first course, woman. You're not going to go for the first woman and she ends up being perfect and you're living in La La Land and she will never split with you. And, and if she does, she's going to decide to split with you and decide, I don't want your money. Mm. That's just, a, it's too perfect. You know what I'm mm. trying to say? But of course, mm. like you said, it's circumstantial. So for me, I feel like I'd have things in place because I have a mum, I have a dad, I have mm. sisters and brothers that, if my woman was to divorce me and I've, okay, like, say for example now, it's the reason where it's my fault. I feel like I owe, owe it to you because of the fact that I was the reason that it's, this was bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. It went wrong. But I feel like if it's something that she's just, you can't control and she's now divorced you over it. Like say for example, you can't give her kids, right? Mm -hmm. And now she's divorced you for it, which is absolutely fine because everyone's got their own reasoning. Mm -hmm. Of course she should, probably should have stayed, but she doesn't want to be with you because you can't give her kids. And then now, because you don't have this prenup in place, you're getting robbed for your piece. You're already feeling shit about the fact you can't give her kids mm -hmm. and now you've lost half your bread. So it's just kind of mad. It's circumstantial I, 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 though, Hence Susan, yeah. I agree that you said it's circumstantial, circumstantial but then I feel like bro. circumstantial, it's always better to have something in play. No, and okay, cool. So, so, so that's a contract, yeah? yeah. Let's just talk black yeah, and white. Yeah, so is a contract. It's a contract of prenuptial. So before your marriage, of course, that says now, if uh, we are to split, 
this happens and it depends on what you put in the contract. So for example, now if you say, um, for each kid you give me, I'll, get, I'll add an additional thousand pounds per month or 500, whatever you can- Oh, I would do that afford. then. Yeah, I would do that then. Mm. It's just saying basically- If I could, if I no, could- But then also uh, uh, on the flip side, obviously when you hear prenuptial, you think it's, it's negative connotations because of the fact you can also believe that you're not taking anything. Because mm. people can also put that in place. You're saying now, if you divorce me, <laughs> there's no money coming into your squares. And mm. I'm not, definitely not agreeing to that. That's ridiculous. Mm. Like you always have to look after the woman. Because at the end of the day, I'll do a settlement. You've made her, you've made her, you've made her, you've yeah. you made her used I, I, to a certain life. I what he just said, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like, that way, everyone's you, happy. Yeah. You're yeah. Look, he's more or less saying, look, from the start, if it does go left, I still got you because look, Bullet point two, me, three, and four I, says I, if you have four kids, you've got you? five bags coming every month. I think that's fair. That makes more sense because that's that's like you're, you've made an agreement. It's a settlement. So you're changing to your say, opinion. Yeah, of course, because it's again, it's the circumstance, isn't it? Like mm. if if we've split up, like she said, and it's something to do with health, then and I can't give her kids, then that's a bit mad because. But I'm saying some people Same are going to do but, that, bro. but she can make her own she decision. Wants her own God kids. forbid! But I but but, 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 but oh, smart. I, I think this is a very good. Kids. Yeah, you're right. Very good conversation because yeah. And bear in mind, guys, we're not. We're, that's another thing. I'm not talking like this has happened or mm. we know what we're talking about. Because at the end of the day, like I said, it's circumstantial. And you know, when you talk about a situation that hasn't happened, you can obviously always put your insight into it. Yeah, and then yeah, when it yeah, actually yeah, comes time to the problem yeah. and to the situation, we can put it completely like different. What my brother's yeah. trying to say is take our opinions with a pinch of salt. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. We're not experienced. Man's just talking, that. yeah. Man's just talking mm. out of mass at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, it is, it is, it's, a, it's a touchy subject, I guess. Mm. I what about you, Fee? What would you do? Um, yeah, I would go with what Chunk said. I, if I'm being honest, I kind of kept my opinions to a minimum until I understood properly what it was. That's why mm. I kind of put it at you first. Mm. But yeah, I'll do that. I'll set like in, within this contract points where that say, yo, if we, I don't know, divorce without children and I mm. was the main like earner and you chose not to work and I didn't tell you then, well, I'm not giving you mm. nothing fam. Mm. But also, then if we like now you, have- You've got them acclimated to a, temp, like a certain lifestyle. So for example, before she's married you, she was in the hood, normal. She had worked her nine to five and she was used to catching one but flight also, a year. Do you know but what? I'm saying now, that you're taking her out to three flights here, buying her Birkins, and, and you're going to Novikov every week. You've made her acclimate to a certain lifestyle, and now you've just dropped her. Mm. That's gonna F up her mental because of the fact she's used to just being everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? So then you're now saying get lost. for breakfast though. How do we know our girls ain't gonna be more richer than us, bro? How do we know they're not gonna I'm just saying hypothetical. Okay, no, but, first, and first, it's first. also, yeah. Because yeah. now, if I, bro, listen to this quick, remember, my bad, bro. If I got married to a richer girl and she wanted to have a prenup in place, I'm absolutely fine with that. Hmm. I say, yeah, that's that's cool with me because yeah, same, I'm, same. I've got my own. I'm good. Yeah, now, yeah, I might yeah. not have as much as you, but, but I'll I'll be fine with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm good regardless. Because man's gonna himself. hustle and do what I need to do regardless. But I think when you've told, like, that's why I said 20 years because I was thinking to myself, I'd only sign a paper if I can look at a woman in her eye and say, I want to be with you for the rest of my life. That's a, that's for me. Yeah, where but things I'm saying, get. But divorce. Is okay, but we're saying life. hypothetical because because yeah. if it's coming down to like situations, then of course, okay, everything's fucked. But if we're talking about this, the woman you want to be with and She's had kids for you, 20 years down the line. And I, think, she, I think it's difficult to find yeah. like a, an, a, a wifey potential, especially with who we are. And mm -hmm. like, I can speak from my perspective being Somali. Um, like it's very difficult to find a Somali that doesn't know who I am. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Which is so it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a crazy, obviously it's Alhamdulillah, it's a blessing, the fact that I've done so well, mm -hmm. but it's also, um, um, what's, the, what's that phrase, something about the success of my own downfall, something like that mm -hmm. along the lines, mm -hmm. where it's basically me just saying that it's, I think it's, kind of harder for me to find who's genuine and who wants a mean and who yeah, wants chunks, yeah. you know? So I think it's, for me, it's kind of like something that I'm always gonna battle, but mm. I feel like if God won't stray I feel like, me. I feel like once, once we, if like, if you was to find a woman on your, on a team, like I don't even think that'd be a fault for you, you know? Do mm. you know what I mean? Mm. I, I think if we found a woman really on the path or like the journey with God and trying to like be a better Muslim woman, or well, in where, my case, a we, better Where do we find that from? That's just something that comes with time. I think those people become those people. You don't just find someone like that. Like What's they, that one was match? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's called, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I no, some it. people yeah. found rule up from there, though. Yeah. Mm. I met this guy and I've gone right. He was going, yeah, yeah I'm getting married. Though. I was mm. like, right, how did you meet your wife? He said, Muz match. Mm. But he found it a bit embarrassing. I was like, brother, that's lit. Yeah. Like, that's sick. Like, how are you meant to you know, meet yeah, people so for working it's Monday to Saturday? It's not called Muz match anymore. It's called Muz. Yeah, because um, the, some match, they got take some lawsuit. Matchmaker or something. Yeah, yeah, they, got, yeah. they got done for a lot of super schemes, man. Oh. But yeah, yeah, shout out to Muslim. I hope yeah. it's still up and running though. Yeah, it's, 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 I, I think they're helping people. Yeah, I, I did a brand deal with them, man. So shout out to no, them. you didn't. Yeah, 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 I did a brand deal. No, I remember seeing it. Yeah, I got no, violated you didn't. Yeah, 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 I got Muslim. Like, was, Wait, you violated yeah, yeah, I got violated for it. Why? Because they were he trying done to say- He was in the park and everything talking about. He turned around and goes, if you want to be in love, you're a Muslim. Oh, no, you didn't do it like that. Well, he's lying. He's lying. Oh, you wind up. Because they're trying to say that's not the proper way to meet somebody. 
Mm. Obviously, at the end of the day, like I'm not even trying to get into it. But yeah. anyway, that's that's kind of our opinions, I guess, on mm. the prenuptial situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could have went on for ages, though. I'll be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I'm really enjoying this convo, man. I yeah. learn a lot from this still. I actually learn a lot. Like even down to the point where I didn't really understand the prenup properly. Mm. I swear to God. Okay, really so how that. old do you think it is too old to get married? So, for example, I'm talking again from a Somali culture. I feel like the girls get vilified too much. So like when you turn 24, 25, 26, that's when all the aunties start coming up to the girls. Like, when are you going to get married? I'm like, oh, I'm it's just like a topic of conversation. Oh, like, fitness to, age, To man. the point where girls would go to weddings of their friends and their mums and the aunties are saying, oh, you need to be That's next. just some what, pressure. Like, I hate you know, that I feel shit, like they put, they put marriage and age, uh, they put marriage next to success. Like mm. you're successful, you're doing well in life if you're married. You know what I'm mean, trying to say? So I feel like- w Would you say that's Somali cult uh, culture or is that Islamic culture? Like why, I can only why, speak from my my pov. You get yeah. it. So like mm. what I've seen growing pov up, pov is mental. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, pov is for mental. me. It's like that I feel me. like there's too much from. Huh? Is it? Uh, yeah. Oh my god, me and you are the same. Yeah, I just I, when I think of pov, I think of something else, man. And it's uh, is it, bro, look yeah. at his heart. He has yeah, no, no clue. I know. He's thinking, what am I on pov? Oh, yeah, bro, no. please never change. Yeah, man. be you, man. Oh, <laughs> it's beautiful, man. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, pov. Yeah. So. Great moments. Anyway. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, so like, is there a right age to get married? I think no. I think there's people who have been married before up until their fifties and they have, you know, divorced or whatever. And then they found somebody in their sixties and they've been with each other until they're 80, 90. Yeah. It, love, I think has no time limit. It's, it's just timing. I don't mm. think that, I don't really think there's a time. I've seen, bro, the other day I was in a park walking Hakeem, yeah. And I saw this couple and I could tell that like, they were in probably in their sixties or seventies, bro. They looked like a young couple in terms of just the way they were bantering with each other. The woman goes, "Oh, that's a philosophical question you just asked," and he started laughing. Oh, <laughs> it was like so. It was so unique, and it's like you never know. But they could have been. They could have got married a year ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or even so, a week ago. A week bro. ago. Literally. So for me, I think with with that, I think it's a pressure because what we see on TV, or your aunties or your uncles will tell you, if you're not married by a tattoo, you you have fit. But it's yeah. like, would you rather be happy? And single or or married and 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 unhappy but yeah. you've made your family feel good mm. so it, it matters all about what you want in it like if you feel like you're in your business career mode right now right now could you get married right now today nah could you get married man. today today no not you get today. me so it's like because of what you're doing right now your time will probably be later than the average person because so, of what's going on in your life right now and you can't really add anyone to this life right now you've got to tell somebody like you know, like this is my job. I'm very sporadic with my work time. I can't give you. You're gonna rob someone of their yeah. of their day to day what they expect from someone, innit? So, I just think it's down to you, you and your timing. When would you lot like to get married? When I don't have to work like this. Yeah, but like, if you had to pick an age, I'm I'm trying to. Get if I wanted, like, if I was to like do a proper marriage and like ceremony, everything when I'm forty. You. Um. What kills it as a kid? Well, but I don't even know. 18. See, I said forty. I don't even know. I wanted to get married at twenty three. Seriously, I wanted, bro. I wanted to be married at twenty five with kids, my house, like chilled, like I'm yeah. raising. I swear. Mm. I think it's just because I really want to emulate my parents. You know, what I'm trying to say because oh, I, I look up to them. Obviously, they're my mum and dad. I came. Alhamdulillah, I'm lucky to come from a two parent household. Same. Um, a lot of my friends Sick. come mm. from a one parent lucky household. You, man. Huh? Lucky for you, man. No, like, hence the reason I'm, I'm not trying to do that. Like, like, run, like, I'm just generally being honest. I feel like, and there's nothing wrong with coming from a one parent mm. household. But no, I'm just no, saying, real, I feel yeah. like this is all I know. The two parent household, and big up to the single moms or even single dads, but. It's like, all I've known is my mum and dad. My dad being the breadwinner, my mum being the housewife, which looked after us, you know what I'm trying to say? And I just feel like I want the same as them. Mm -hmm. So of course they were married from such, so young. Obviously that, that time has passed for me. So for me, I think I would still want that two parent household type of vibe where when my wife birth, family. she's chilling at home, looking after the kids, maybe have a little side hustle with businesses. And I'm just like out making money, you know what I'm trying to say? And yeah, that's what man. I've always wanted. But obviously now that I'm 27, um, Damn. I f yeah, I, I know. Um, I think maybe 30, inshallah. Because for me, like how, how long- You know, that's mad. I said 30, but I, how I long, said two years. How mm. long do you need to know someone before you're married? Not long. Mm. You, you, hey, come on. I remember, <laughs> yeah, yeah. obviously I know what we're saying it because of them, but all of us, we, we move quick. Like yeah. when we love, we love. Do you get what I'm saying? So I fall quick. I fell quick. Yeah. I, I you fall quick? I definitely yeah. fell quick. What? You like, fall quick, Harry? I felt quick. 
okay. fell yeah. quicker. So I'm saying, all right, then luckily, let's say now, for example, you, tomorrow you go to Starbucks, you see someone you like, good vibes, you end up speaking, right? It's, everything everything goes well, like everything's going very well. How long? Don't no one judge me. Go on. Yeah. I'm looking at six months. Like if I know within the first three, I reckon I could do it in six months. What, marrying six? Is that mad? I don't, I don't know. But it Only because I've it been sounds, in- it sounds, it sounds more like a you thing. That's you. Yeah, you're very much. So, I am. I am that way. Let, kind let's of just. I'm. Um, let's just go. Let's, let's just, just go do and do it. But I, I've experienced love, and I know that when you just feel it, you should just. I don't know. Go. I don't know. I could be wrong though, innit? No, my, my experience is. You you're not wrong, bro. That's yeah, my, my experience. Because if we're talking now from again an Islamic perspective, it's always better to just be quicker with it because mm. there's more baraka, there's more blessing in it mm. if you just like without more any baraka, 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 yeah. baraka like blessing. Yeah, like you just, you're better off just getting married before you fall into the, the sins and stuff. You know mm. what I mean? So I, I, I big up your thing, broski. Is it? Yeah. yeah, yeah no, my really brother. Like I thought you were But I feel like honestly from a human perspective, it's kind I'm of like, about right I'm really going to know somebody in six months. Right now, Harry, Philly, Trunks. When are you Me, lot? Me personally, yeah. I think I could speak to someone and then maybe a year to 18 months after getting married. I could actually mm. do it six months. Like. So you're saying six months. Yeah. Which, fair play to you, brother. That's mental. Yeah. What did you say? I'd say... That's crazy. Again, I'm just b- going based off my previous experiences. You know when you know, bro. Like, man's heart was just... I remember my, my situation. My heart was just... It was immediate. Like, mm. I just felt like, oh my days. This, this, this is everything. And it comes down to just little things like... Just, you know when there's a word, a sentence, they just get it. I feel like that is a, a feeling you can't explain, yeah, innit? And cold. I feel like it's just like- Like, like you think yeah, about that smiling. Yeah, no, yeah. love- Is a madness. Is love. amazing. It's a madness, do you think bro. you can fall out of love with someone? Yeah, no, I think so you can- So do you think you love your ex though? No, but- You got love for her? Yeah. Yeah. Like I care for her. The love will never be as strong as it was before yeah. though. I proper do care for her still. Yeah. That like I'd be concerned if maybe she got hurt. Mm. Even if it's got nothing to do with my no more. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. I would be. Mm. Like how can I, I? Sometimes I think, how can you not? Mm. And you know, especially you know, the way my situation. You know them bow my... out messages. You know them ones where you're basically saying, "Good luck for the rest of your life." And do you actually mean what you're saying? No, that is just great. Just to let you know, if you want to say anything now, after I've said this message, this is your time to say it. Yeah. But I'm saying, do you actually mean what you're saying? No, I believe. Yeah, I don't know if like what Philly said. If you've been in a relationship and you've loved this person, yeah, unless a mad disrespect has been done. I think it's crazy for you to not care anymore about mm. that person. Doesn't mean you need to reach out. Come on, disrespecting. Yeah, like we left on I right, all the best, all the best. It's nothing but love. So every you see time. her now mm. tomorrow on the street. You hugging her? Yeah. Okay. Talk mm. to her. Don't know about a hug. Her situation might be she got a a new one. Yeah. You get me? And obviously, out of respect, I won't even I touch you like that. Yeah, but what if she sees you? Sh- no, no, that one's mad. Mm. No, 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 man ain't going back there. That nah, one's mad. Because that's going to make the wood rise up for no yeah, reason. Yeah, no, no, yeah. that one's mad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 man's care, but I'm not lost on it. Like, man ain't going back there. I just, I mm. care, innit? That's Even what... if it's just a quick one. Yeah, let me just... Nah. Yes. No, no, Because no, that no. just... Because it's, it's just... Then open things start changing. Unnecessary problems. Like, you know when you're leaving... There's a reason we left. You're holding each other's hands for a bit longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Nice lungs comes up. No, no, them ones. What is it? Hi, come here. Stop being dumb. Let me just... Yeah. Ah, you see when you kiss someone and, and you made that noise. And you see yeah, that real. noise. That's better than the tongue sometimes. Oh, bro, I, it's better than the tongue sometimes. Oh my god, it is. Or oh, the one we go like in between, like. But I read a book here, yeah, and it says <laughs> literally, it's not really about like all of the. I love that you read, yeah. Yeah, do you know what it is? I love that. I'm lying. I, then they, bro, he, he's yeah, shit. Yeah. Oh, oh, your face he did after. Oh, let me, let me, sorry. Let me just say it. To you. I'm not. Yeah. I don't read. Yeah. But um, like I've read somewhere that it's not really about yeah all of the the, the it's the little. Touches. Subtle ones. Have you, have you ever seen when you've been touched by a woman before and it's like, it's somewhere where you didn't think it's gonna, mm. you know. Like, like hold my neck while I'm driving. <sighs> yeah. That film. Yeah, boys. Yeah, this. Yep. Oh. Like, like, see this, yeah. You know, that's see why this. I leave this out. <laughs> oh my God, remember I got a, well, you <laughs> can't see it. I'm a little fluff. Get it that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with I you. I don't though. want a beard though, boys. Yeah, you, it think, wouldn't suit me. You'd look. Nah, nah, you look horror. And right now I'm I'm Somali off. Yeah, yeah, yeah Somali right Do you know now. what? Yeah. yeah, you do proper look like your name's Walid. But I just think it's because all my brethren are my, well, not all of them, because you're mm. not, but that majority sure, yeah. of my brethren are Somali, innit? So yeah. mm. I think people just assume as well because of my skin complexion. Let me ask you a question, yeah. Do you get a lot of messages about um, you being Muslim? Uh, all right, bro, yeah. <laughs> Like, I I just no, wanna... this is my life. <laughs> yeah. Like, I've had people stop me on the street and recite me, like, verses of Mashallah. the Quran. No, seriously, I'm not joking. I've had people on the street stop me, recite me verses of the Quran. Or, like, they'll approach me and they'll be like, 
Oh, um, how do you, how, how is it? Alaykum. Yeah, mm. salam alaikum. And obviously out of respect, man said, Ba'am alaikum salam, you get me? But mm. they didn't start talking a bit more and I'm like, oh, Aki, I'm not Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I just respect Islam a lot. Even the way you say Muslim, it's yeah. like, it's yeah. perfect. I yeah, love yeah, it, yeah. Muslimin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to this though. Every effing time I meet someone, bro, like most of the time we're like, they'll be like, <sighs> why is feeling no Muslim, bro? Yeah. Mm. I'm like, broski. <laughs> Even AM, big up my brother AM, one of my best friends. He sat I, me I'll down get the other emotional day. right now. If he fully became Muslim. That's man. what AM said. Oh, I brother. Cry. I swear That's what AM said. That's, That's the first time you've seen me cry. Aye, I swear to God. Have you seen me cry? Like, generally, like, proper full fl- fl- flowing tears? Aye, bro. Yeah. When? Bro. Aye, this is my brother, you know. My guy. No. Do you know what I'm going to say, innit? What? Umrah. <laughs> I can cry oh, now. Oh, please. I'm going to share this with them. Share this with them, man. Mandem, I was right. emotional and I wasn't there and I'm not even, you get what I'm saying? Bro, but let me talk to you, bro. So obviously Ramadan times, shout out to my brother Mustafa the Poet, one of my best, right, best, guy, best, man. best people what on this earth, brother, yeah? We, Ramadan, he must've came to London. We had a meal. I'm so smiling eating, already. We eat and had a meal emotional. and stuff. And then, um, wow, bro. Like he, we had a, we had a good, 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 good iftar. And he was like, bro, like, why don't we go to Umrah? And I was like, I said, listen, like, oh, you know, wow, how, for emotion you know how we usually Let's talk speak. about like, let's do this holiday, let's do this thing. But this one, I felt different energies towards it. Like I said, yo, like let's actually mm-hmm. do this. And he goes, okay, cool. Who do you think would be on it from your side? I said, Sharky, 100%, because cool. I said, Harry Panera, my boy. He goes, Harry's Muslim, he didn't know. I said, yeah, Harry, bro. He goes, cool, I, I know a couple of people as well. Let's get this together, let's let's sort it out. So Umar being a religious pilgrimage, like Mecca, I'm sure you guys know. Um, so obviously he's gone home now and uh, he's called me mm. the next day. How you doing, brother? You okay? Handle, I'm okay, bro. We want to break fast together. Yeah, yeah. Um, bro, how is it looking from your side when the Umrah stuff? But bear in mind, I didn't do any research, do nothing because you know when you just get told, let's do this, it's not really gonna happen. You know what I mean? But he goes, yo, I've messaged my boys like Sheck West is coming, uh, Omar Sai is coming, like a, a couple of other ballos coming. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, remind me, o- Omar's the guy. That Omar Sai Lupin. Lupin from. Yes, Lupin. yes. Oh, Lupin. when I saw you look yeah, in a picture, yeah, yeah. I said, oh my god, Sheck how West, random course, and amazing big, is that? Big um, rapper, and then Ballo being one of his very good friends. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, um, who was? Yeah, 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 say all the brothers, Ali man. Say all the brothers. Yeah, yeah. Ali, obviously from Toronto, but yeah, Toronto. he's, he's so based he's in. There. Um, and he in goes, America. I got my peoples. Have you got your peoples? So straight away, I called Harry. And he messaged I, me. I messaged you. Bro, the message was sent. I'll never forget. At 1847. I replied at 1847. Didn't even think about it. I oh, said, his story is so I said to him, yo, bro, what you said and done. And yeah. Yeah. I said to him, yo, my brother, um, you want to come Umrah? And I think, he, what was going on? He's talking about Bro, I swear, when I got that message, I, I, at the time, it was, I needed something. I felt like Allah was missing in my life. And I just felt like that was, the, the, the message came from Allah for him to say, let's go Umrah. Didn't even check if I had work or anything. Yeah, I just said, bro, but from t- I've never seen that Harry say straight away. Usually it's, I'm going to have to check this yeah, or yeah. I'm going to have yeah, to move yeah. this or maybe, or sometimes you just can't be asked, which is absolutely fine. But Wallahi, the energy he had for that one, like he said, I'm rolling. It's done, bro. Like, I, I needed need that. that. He needed it. Because I, I know what kills it. it is like, then I called you and we were speaking about it. And I was like, bro, I feel like something's missing. Mm. Ramadan's always the time where like you're, you kind of get the refill the faith, kind of the imam kind of vibe. So it was mm. like, we just thought, burn it, let's go. Bro, mm. when me and Harry went inside a hotel room, and we were in Medina, right? This is where the Prophet's mosque is, broski, yeah? So, so. So, 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 so educate me, the, the Prophet. Um, so Umrah, is where the Prophet's mosque is, yeah? So the um, so Umrah no, is no. like the religious pilgrimage, yeah. the act, correct? Yeah, 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 Obviously, yeah, I, I yeah. need to just definitely check upon that, yeah, yeah, but don't yeah. quote me on this. Um, my understand, understanding of it, Umrah is like the religious pilgrimage, which you, is what you're going to do Umrah, right? So the places, so <coughs> the Prophet, um, Salam, uh, mostly was raised in Medina. I'm yeah. pretty sure he spent most That's of his time- That's where the mosque is. The mosque, so the mosque that they have in his name is there, right? Mm. So I've gone now, and Bro, we, so there's a hotel. Like yeah, the yeah, yeah but the hotel. Bro, so listen to this though. I've said to the wow, man on boys. the phone, I said to myself, I don't care how much this costs, brother. I said, get me in the best places. I want to see everything live out. Clock but tower, I don't want to be fast okay. tracked and yeah, shit. Yeah. I said, I just want to see the nice places. The Medina Hotel, when me and Harry have now walked in, brother, to our room, it pushed open the curtain. <laughs> Literally, wallahi, this close, that close, just the mosque, right? Off the bat, he's on the phone to his dad. Crazy. Them two just start crying profusely on the phone. Yeah, it together. was mental. Was oh, like, this is making and, me emotional. And bear in yeah, mind, man. bro, I'm on the bed and I've seen this one. Yeah, and, and like, I'm just crying. Yeah. I'm crying, bro. Look, 
Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yeah look at me, bro. bro, bro. I'm mad. crying, and then he's just like, right. and he's just saying, "Oh, dad, look what I've done! Like, look, I've, I have made it." You know what I mean? Oh, and it's like man. his dad, oh, his dad was nice, crying man. nonstop. Like it was mm, a beautiful mad. moment, bro. And I, like, I was like, "Oh my god!" Like this is this is the best moment of my life, brother. I've done so much cool shit, brother. Wallahi mm. al-Azim. Let God take me away today. This was the best moment of my life. And he wanted to steal my moment. And then I said, okay, you know what? I want to have I want to have this moment with my dad. I want to have this moment with my dad. Uh, my dad, by the way, no, no one obviously knows him. Brother, he is mm. not he does not show emotion, bro. Mm. Like his mum passed away. Uh, my grandma, 2013, 2014, didn't shed one tear, brother. He was burying her, he was carrying her. This guy was stiff. I remember going to his room crying and saying, Are you okay? And he was like, This life, this is this life. You know what I mean? I've only seen him cry once, right? That one time I saw him cry. Watching Quran, I watching um, a, a prayer on the screen. I'm just watching a prayer. Actually, look left. I see my dad just crying, mm. and I was like, "Whoa, what is this?" He understands Arabic, mm. so I said, "You know what? I want to have this moment that Harry's had with his dad." So I FaceTime, and I'm just crying like <laughs> that kind of crying, bro. Mm. I said, "Look where I, I yeah, like that kind of vibe." And my dad's there, oh, like, bro, on the FaceTime, oh, barling chill, with man. me. It's mental, like, bro. bro. It's I, that calm that mm. takes over your your body, mm. brother. Wallahi, there's, I don't know how to explain the Nothing feeling, God, so good, but yeah. I swear to God, bro, there was not a better timing in our lives. I think mm. that, and I just remember being there thinking, I'm going to stop every stupid <laughs> shit that I do mm. in life. I'm going to just focus my life in the mm. just God, and I want to learn more and I want to be better. You know what I'm mm. trying to say? Fast forward a couple of days, now we're in Mecca. We're doing Sorry, a, a Mecca, tawaf, we're doing tawaf which is, you know, the yeah, black yeah, stone. Yeah, I've seen that, I've so seen we're walking around seven times. And we're doing like, we're saying loads of different things. Um, what, what was the, um, the step? Nah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, be like, oh, oh, what's it? I actually want to get it. Uh, it's uh, in the chat. It's in yeah, the yeah. Gonna, my bad, guys, but yeah. I'm just trying to find it. Because I remember this You don't got to take this in though. I'm not Muslim. Look how much the story's touching. Um, I've never in my life had tears in my beautiful, eyes beautiful, on camera. Beautiful. The baker la, huma la bake. La baker la, shirika leka la bake. In alhamda, wa ni'mita. Leka wal muk. La shirika la. That's basically what you have to say. You're basically saying, God, we're, we're coming. Journey, we're coming. Yeah. Like, we're coming to Except, the place. Yeah. So brother, we were in a You're car for four hours. Four hours. Maybe we repeated it two hours and a half. Yeah, yeah. Non-stop, bro. We're going. Boom, we've done to I'll fall asleep. I wake up. And he's just hit you. He's been working up by the like, I can see how I remember. I wake you up. He was getting there. He was getting there, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bless him in his heart. He yeah. wants to just serve him, but I've he's never tired seen too. I hear it. Like that in my life, bro. Yeah. Boom, now nice to, to see a different yeah, side of your boys. Like he's walking around with the Kaaba. This guy, Harry's just boom. Sharky. Boom. Me. Ah. Mustafa the poet. Philippine. The Sheikh West. Omar Sai. Balo. Everyone, bro. There's not one dry face mm. out of the mandem, and it's like this is the best time of my life, bro. Honestly, though, like you see that moment, yeah. That's when I said to myself, like, I got to do this a lot. It's a recharge. There's, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, I know. Well, like, inshallah, bro. If yeah. whenever it's if, available, if Allah accepts us, yeah, yeah. Allah, like, even, and, and the thing is, it's not even to say that it's guaranteed that our, our prayers will be accepted, in it. But just to know, like, how how merciful the, the God that we serve is, yeah. It just put things into perspective. Nothing mattered. When you go there, bro, we took, there was no jewelry, no clothes. We didn't care about what you was wearing. Everybody's in the the white thobes, the clothes, like it's purity. Like it's just, <laughs> bro, <laughs> uh, I've still got mine. Yeah, I have I've still yeah. got mine. Like, inshallah, inshallah, my son will go and you'll wear it. Like I want him to, yeah, yeah, yeah. but bro, it, for me, that was the, the best thing ever. So I just felt like, you see with Chunks, like and Sharky, I've, I got so much closer to Sharky. Just I remember you trip. told me. You Just told off me that trip, well. like that guy's my brother and, and stuff of the poet, Sheck West, a lot of them. Like, yeah, I'm going to New York. I'm going to New York in a couple of days. I'm going to go. Go check him. What? You you? I'm there. Ah! Are you coming? Anyway, um, but you know what? I'm going to do live on, on the podcast. Live on the podcast. What, what, what? Now I'm in Milan for four. No, serious, yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. There's no way that you man are going to have an amazing trip without me. Burn that, man. We, we right my... now, live on the podcast. So, Talk to me though, man. Podcast. You yeah. got your own one. Yeah. You need to big up your thing, man. No, he's, got, he's got two. Yeah. Are you so, on the five one or the no, so, so, <laughs> no, no. So the first one was from Boys to Men. Yeah. That you lot all went on. Yeah. I stopped. Where that, is yeah. that? I oh, you that. stopped. No, but, but here's the reason. Um, it was guest focused and it wasn't me focused. It was more guest focused. And in reality, I I got lucky because you lot all my brethren. I got you, I got Nella, I got everybody. Adiola as Adiola. Well. Adiola. Did I get Nella? No, I haven't got Nella yet. No. But I got Henry, I got Darkest Man, Johnny, like I got all the man them. Mariam. Um, Mariam, like I got everyone in a space of time where you lot are very, very busy, did me a favor. Now with other people that are not necessarily my friends, I won't be able to get 
those yeah. people. And you're just and spunking out on the guests because it's, it's, it's a lot of money, bro. Man, episode. spend it, man. Right. Right. I hear what you're saying. When you want them big guests and they're not yeah. your brethren, it's not it's, attainable, it's, it's really. Difficult. Isn't it? it's I, hard. I didn't want to build it based on, but it, inshallah, it will return. But the one that I'm really involved with that I, I leave countries early to come home to is the inside scoop that I'm doing with Culture Cams. And it's just literally everything that I've wanted to do before. You lot know how much I love football. You've mm. seen my room. I love it, like, with my heart. Just like how you, more probably you, like, Philly loves playing it and watching it, but I don't think you watch games and no, no, yeah, no. the way I'm with obsessed. me. I'm, no, I'm no, no. You, you, you men are cut from a different yeah, club. Yeah, do you I, know what Sharky said yesterday? What, what? He said he can name every Champions League winner from 92 or three or whatever, bro, that mm. is mad to me. Yeah, it's like, mad. How do you man because know you, so much you, about you, When football, you love bro. something so much, yeah, and you can actually create great content with it and it's based on you, it's not like no brands paying me or anything like that. The, the quality of the content comes out. Like for example, we had Jeff Shreves in the studio. I saw that, bro. Very that's random. Like, that's the voice of football for me, yeah? Jeff Shreves. Jeff Shreves. Bro, he's in FIFA. FIFA he's touched Jeff Shreves, Sky Sports. And, yeah. thing, and then he's there talking about things. You've probably seen his face, you'll know. Yeah. Yeah. But like, um, what what heights do you want to take it to? For example, like I know that I saw Danny Mills. Uh, I'm not sure where that one is. Name Danny, Danny Mills. Mills. Who? Danny, Danny Murphy. Danny Murphy. I haven't done anything with Danny Murphy. He, he was just in the studio. Yes. Um, filming his own. Okay. Own okay. Podcast, and then yeah. I seen um, you got some sick stuff on route. Obviously, I'm not gonna just in case this comes out a bit early. Yeah. But like, what do you want to do with the podcast? Like, I think for me, yeah, what I've realized is the power that man has. Yeah. I think man over overestimate the power that we have. Under. In, we, we underestimate yeah. 100% because when, for example, I was at the PFA, PFA Awards yesterday, yeah, and the chief executive is like, I know you because you're great, but I also know you because my kids are obsessed with you. So seeing you here and being, and he's black as well, it was like, okay, say less, say less basically. Hey, yeah. The chief executive of even, 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 yeah, bro. Hard. And then even when I went to, I did something real the other day, some guy from the Premier League, my, my guy now, Alistair, bro, the first time someone's ever given me their card, it's the Premier League. So I know, yeah, that in the in the rooms that I think I'm not getting spoken about, I am. Mm. And it's because man's just being myself. I'm not trying to be no one else. I, I know football, I can speak very well, but I'm also from the ends. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let, let that go over anyone's head. And that's power, bro. So when I thought I wanted to create something that actually puts a, a light on that, I wanna talk football with my brethren, like how I would, would do anywhere. Any but I want you? it to be respected on TV, because it should. Just because I'm a YouTuber, or because I'm from the ends, doesn't mean I don't know less of about football with someone who's, I don't know, different color to me. Yeah. So, and I think, bro, the impact man has, if, if you, when you see me in these places, you believe next year you can be there, bro. And that's what man's doing. I got culture cams who I've said to him, bro, believe in this vision with me, bro. We're going to go to the top. We're actually going to be people, all these brands and TV, they're going to say, we need you on our TV. We're going to produce our own content. What we're like, what we're doing as well. So I've, I've seen, I've been in this for enough to know, I, I don't need all of this. I don't need all of this. I'm, my voice is powerful. I put a tweet out and I get three million views, uh, uh, likes in a in a day. Sure, um, analytics, right? yeah. Analytics, yeah, yeah, impressions, yeah. yeah. That's what these lot are paying hundreds of thousands of pounds to, to, do. to do. So if I know that I've got that power, bro, either you cut, literally, I've got the source here for you or I'm going to build it. And I don't mm. care how long it takes because it's a love. Can Inside other... Scoop please collab with SDS one day? Bro, we're family, bro. No, I know it's, that. It's but... already like mm. Sharky, just one to let everyone know, honorable mention to Sharky. Sharky has been messaging me ever since I started, told me to get a new YouTube channel, told me to get a new TikTok, told me to um, change the handles of this, told me to, I, I'm using his editor, I'm using his uh, uh, thumbnail guy. Sharky's, bro, allow me. SDS. You uh, know someone else would like the average, bro, do bro, you know how blessed we are? Bro, I'm like, telling to you, bro. all be brethren and like, all have the Sharky, like, similar Sharky, hearts. Yeah, I watch Sharky and I was like, you see with me, I've always, I'm, do you remember when we was um, coming back? from um, Medina. Mm. Yeah, no, no, from uh, Mecca. Mm. You fell asleep, me and Sharky, what were we just doing? Talking chopping, about the podcast. Chopping, chopping. Just talking. I said chopping. to him, I said, Sharky, like, I'm, I really want to like, I asked him bare questions, but bear around, this man's younger than me, you know, but I've always felt like he's an old soul, innit? So he's just saying to me, look, mm. like, it's going to take long, don't get me wrong, but I know you, if you do it, you can you can get it done. And now to see that, even my, my, my We Are Winning brand, bro, he's giving me advice on that. We've been selling out and I got, oh, bro, the new, it's not a joke. Never, it's never better than the first I teaser release. I swear on my life. It's Design's perfect. different? Design is not a joke anymore, bro. And he's, again, like- I you, love that. You know, I, like, all the man have got clothing lines. So we got yeah. We Are Winning, we got Clean Hearts, mm. which you haven't really dropped yet. But that's gonna, that's gonna, but you wear it constantly to yeah. let people know you got your thing coming out. And of course, well, said, my yeah. favorite, no, nah, not by my thing. Mine's yeah. like more merch. Like yeah, you yeah, lot have yeah. actually, you lot want to make proper clothes. Yeah, that's yeah. sick. And then we got the best one, in my opinion, at the moment, 
Primo, Primo for, for sure. That's Flipping what, out. That's I want to shout out AV as well. He's mm. the unsung hero, which is uh, Sharky's cousin. Yes, I haven't yeah. met oh, that's him. That's what I was going to say. Him. So I need to meet I, him. I bucked him at the SDS live show. Yeah. And he and came over to Sharky, me. of course, as well. But yeah, yeah. AV's really No, I need to meet him still. You know, I know that, again, you've introduced me to some real good people. Yeah, you, know? you have, like, you know. I, I won't even lie to you. Like, the whole Somali community, anytime like, I, I see someone from Somalia, like, they just treat me like I'm one of them. Yeah. Like, it's crazy. But your brethren's in particular, but I'm half brethren's now. But yeah. like, when you introduce Sharky anyway, his cousin came over to me, you know, he said to me, he goes, Bro, I've been meaning to like mess you, but I didn't want to come across as like, I said, bro, your family, bro, is yeah. just like, come to the studio, whatever advice you need. Like I see, I see the quality is good. Like, but if you need more assistance, it's like, that's what man's trying to build. Like, you know, I'm, I've always been saying community, bro. I, I, I just believe in it. Mm. I think we can all make mad bread mm. by just being, you know what I'm trying to say? So I think me doing it is because Sharky's gone and done it and I've seen how he's done it. Other people have done inspired it. Inspired by your friends, you know. I'm Man, inspired by my taking friends, bro. the like, friendship group we've got. Is bro, insane. inspiring, bro. And shout out to my manager, Collar, bro. Like, yeah, Collar. I'll be honest with you, bro. He, w without him, I'm not here. Yeah, that's for me, tough for me. Yeah, but also, without you two, I'm not here as well, bro. Wallah. Vice versa, though. Yeah. I like to all, think that to all, a certain yeah. extent. And all of it. And all, extends, Allah, but that's, oh that's my, mandatory. No, but he's like, first. No, that's that's mandatory. That's mandatory. From, that's mm -hmm. mandatory. But I but, feel like all my friends and all these things that's happened in man's life. We won't have, have a part been, to they've play. They've been placed here, innit? And we're from different backgrounds. Mm. Like, Sierra Leone, all from the hood, though. All from the hood, but different backgrounds. You're from Colombia. I'm from Sierra Leone. You're from Somalia. Like, the only thing that aligns us two is the fact that we're both Muslim. Oh. Africa's it's different anyway like obviously we're all African but like as in Muslim, yeah. the, our cultures and stuff but bro man's got the same understanding Deep Pow Pow like I, I said it earlier mm. but man's not Muslim fam mm. do you know how beautiful that is though like to see someone so committed and love mm. God in that way like it's mm. I think that would inspire genuinely I think someone out there watch that that's not even religious and be inspired and want to mm. learn do you get what I'm saying? Even mm. if it's not your religion, they might All right, bro, like, I'll just say one thing, bro. man. Islam is such a beautiful religion, <laughs> bro. Like, there's nothing in this world. Look, your eyes teary bro, again. I, oh, bro, you don't understand. I'll die for that shit. I swear, <laughs> done. I'll die. Like, yeah. it's mad. Allah, I mean, best, 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 thing, best thing I have, bro, I'll be honest. Yeah, with man. You. Even me swearing stuff for a lot, man. Yeah, bro, no, I'm man, just man. emotional, Ooh, okay. man. Come on, bro. Yeah, we ain't perfect apart from... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But quickly, before we leave, brother... Yes. Um, we leave him. Yeah, we're leaving. Why have we got to leave? <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 come, how come we don't talk like this a lot on the phone as much as we, we do this? No, no, no. But, 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 but. Don't make us seem like we're dead friends. Because no, definitely, not like that. if we was together in a the yard, these convos are No, but I mean, you know what? Like, little things like... Tired. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, bro. You bless had, you. Had how, many, how many hours sleep did you have yesterday? Five. My fault. I'm watching Netflix. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. But and nah. you have football and a long shoot. Yes, football, long shoot. With yeah. Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Yeah, mental. Oh, hey, he's a lovely that. human being. You know. I, I know I'm different. Should have said Yeah, that. I don't that? know, innit? He's an African. Did he ask me? Did he ask me? No. Nah, oh. No. Oh, oh, is it that you that begs it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Okay. How much pay for the ticket manager? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he asked oh, me. Joking, no, joking. No, 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 but joking. take this yeah, in, bro. Yeah, yeah. Take team, this in. team asked us, yeah. can he be on better squad? That is mad, uh, But you know no? why, though? It's not mad. It, you lot are the best, bro. Yeah, but we come less, from, less, like, okay, I hear I, that. I still can't believe no, I'm we here, do, no, no, we do that a lot, You know me, me and you have this conversation. I can't believe we've done this. But now, do you know what it is? Now I do. Now I, I'm no longer in that Rob place. Rob, no boys, I'm still there, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, I'm no longer there no more, Do you man. know what I'm scared of, yeah? Finally accepting it, God forbid. I put it in the number, it's also changed, but accepting it and changing. Like, I'm just happy. I'm kind of happy. Innocent. Ha yeah, like, mm. like I can't believe it. Obviously, I know to a certain extent. Mm. I know if I go out, I'm going to get take pictures of, but, bro, I still wake up in my yard now and go, oh, my God. Yeah. God. Bro, I'm in awe of where I live. I've been mm. there nearly two and a half years. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I've had for a little while, mum's been retired for, I still can't believe it though. No, I, hate I just paid my mum before I, I started the pod. Couldn't believe it, bro. I still remember doing this video yesterday quickly. Mm. Obviously I'm not gonna say the figures and stuff, but he was like, um, give, me a number between, give me a number between this and this. And I just went higher up on the scale for some reason. I didn't know what it was for. It was cool. That's the bonus I'm gonna give my uncle. Gave him a madness. And I was like, Look at the things we can do, bro. Man's mm. having fun playing I made games. my uncle my driver. Yeah. You and know, I remember uncle I was there for your birthday. Didn't even drive my whip no more. Yeah. <laughs> imagine, no, imagine, don't tell me he's there. Hmm? What? Don't tell me he's there. No, 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 he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's on holiday in Turkey. Okay. Imagine that. That's crazy, bro. But literally, quickly, a side note. Let's just end this now. Oh my God. We can walk. Yeah, we can talk for five hours. And if you guys want to see this again, let us know in the comments, please. Because we love Harry. He'll probably be here for more appearances. My brother forever, man. But I just want to know. Where are Manchester United finishing the season? So 
Literally. Hand on heart, like right now. Um, I'm telling you, Palace are making Champions League. Love though, boys. Uh, no, wallah, wallah, no, wallah, you're not going to know. No, 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 I just, wallah. I just, no, 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 you see him there? No, I can't see him. Wallah, wallah, stay here, stay here. So with that midfield of this ep, in my humble opinion, will be very hard to top. Um, Why? We've cried, we've smiled, we've laughed. I'm very grateful love you, um, for you coming on. I love you more, bro. Trust me, you don't understand. No, how much I, I value, no, allow it, man. So yeah, allow me. Why, 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 why? Yeah. Um, and I love you too. Um, yeah. Everyone, like make it, sure man. you comment, like, subscribe, take care. God bless you all. And um, yeah, tell your friends you love them. Like, Lucas friends. Aid, sponsor me. I, that'd be nice. I Lucas Aid, so let, we'll get a couple of bottles on here, yeah? Just sort out the paperwork and all that for us though, yeah? And also yeah. we're doing a football podcast, so we record yeah. more days as well. So Lucas Aid, think about it. Uh, Harry Pinero, Inside, inside scoop, scoop, man. I shout out have, to my brother, uh, Cams. Yeah, yeah, Cams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. got Cams. And SDS, just because it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care, my ass is sweaty.